geodetic coordinates. Consider a point outside the surface of the reference ellipsoid. I can draw a normal to the ellipsoid from this point. And we all know that the normal to the ellipsoid does not go through the center of the ellipsoid. In this case, this curve is, the, is called local meridian, and this curve is called the reference meridian. So the point is how to define position for the point based on the geodetic coordinates or based on the reference ellipsoid. Consider this intersectional line between the local meridian and equator. This angle, which is actually the angle between the normal to the ellipsoid and x, o, y, or equator, is called geodetic latitude. And the angle between the reference meridian and the local meridian, which is measured on the equator, is called geodetic longitude. Therefore, the coordinate of a point in the geodetic coordinate system is defined by three parameters. Phi stands for geodetic latitude, lambda, geodetic longitude, and a geodetic height, which shows how much this point is above or below the reference ellipsoid. Another quantity which is important is n. n is the distance from this point, the point that normal to the ellipsoid intersects the surface of the ellipsoid, and up to the point that this normal collides the rotation or z axis of the system, which is known as the radius of prime vertical. We have already discussed in another video about the details of that. And here A is the semi-major axis of the ellipsoid, and E2, as we already discussed, is the first eccentricity of the ellipsoid. Now I explain how geodetic coordinates are converted to Cartesian coordinates. It's very similar to what we did for spherical coordinates and three-dimensional coordinates, but the difference is that the normal to the ellipsoid does not go through the center of the ellipsoid. What should we do in that case? So let me shift this x, o, and y plane downward to the point that the normal to the ellipsoid collides the z-axis of the ellipsoid like that. In this case, the x and y coordinate, as you see in the figure, do not change. Do not change. And in that case, as you see, the normal to the ellipsoid go through the center of the shifted coordinate system. Of course, x and y coordinates are the same, but not the z. z should be computed or drive separately. So look at here, since this line here is parallel to this line, and this normal to the ellipsoid collides or intersect both of them, this phi angle, which is the latitude, which geodetic latitude, will be the same with this angle. And lambda is also the same. So I can use simply the same geometry that I use for spherical coordinates to find the conversion formula from geodetic coordinate to x and y. So we have a geodetic coordinate. I want to get partition coordinates for the x and y. So it's simple. N plus h is the, the total distance, the whole distance. And I want to convert it first to this line and 
then convert this line or project this line to x axis and y axis. That's all. It's very similar. So if I multiply this line or this side of this triangle to cosine of phi, which is here also, I get this projection, which is n plus h cosine phi. And again, if I multiply this projected line to cosine of lambda, I get x, as you see here. And if I you multiply this line, this side, to uh, sine of this lambda, then I get this side of the triangle, which is equal to y axis, as you see here. So, as you see, it's very similar to the spherical coordinate. Instead of a n, we have r in this in this spherical coordinate system. But in geodetic coordinate system, we have n of the radius of prime vertical. But z is not that simple that we have explained here. It can be should be derived in another way. In order to explain how how to de determine z coordinates from the geodetic coordinate, consider this figure. And this is the norm to the ellipsoid. And consider a horizontal line and the intersection line of the normal to the ellipsoid and the surface of the ellipsoid. And here, if this angle is phi, this angle will be phi. I will explain this later. And consider an infinitesimal small, small triangle here that we have created. So I have the differential along z, a differential for y. I consider prime because I do not want to, to mix it with x and y and z that I'm going to explain later. And if this angle is phi, this angle here will be 90 degrees minus phi. Why? Because, because this side of this angle is no more to this side of this angle. And this side, which is the tangent to the ellipsoid, is another side of this angle. And this angle is also no more to this. It's also vertical or 90 degree right angle to this no more to the left side. Therefore, this angle will be 90 degrees minus phi. If we have this h, which is the geodetic height of this, then this side of in front of this angle, since this is a right, this is a right angle triangle, the sine of this phi will be if multiplied by h, we get this side. So, therefore, the coordinate that we define is actually the distance from this point up to the y axis here or x axis here. Here I use y for simplicity. So this will be the z coordinate for me, but I already have only this side, this part of it. Then I have to compute the rest of it here, which is z, which I show this with z prime, which is equal to this part. So if I compute z or I drive z prime and, and add it to h sine of phi, I get Z coordinates. That's the whole whole principle for determining Z coordinates from for, uh, geodetic coordinates. But let us see how can we do it mathematically. So as I explained, if this is phi minus uh, in 90 degrees minus phi, so the tangent of this angle will be d z prime or over d y prime. We know that the geometry of ellipsoid or the equation of an 
ellipse is like that. So let me solve this equation for zeta prime. And after that, take the, the differential, total differential on both sides. And after simplification, I come to that one. dz prime over dy prime is equal to minus y prime over z prime, b with power 2 over a power. Now I put this back to this equation. And I expand the tangent 90 degrees minus phi like that. Tangent 90 degrees minus 5 will be cotangent, cotangent, and the cotangent is cosine over sine, and the angle will be the opposite. This is plus positive, it will be negative. So if I multiply both sides, I can write by minus, and after that simplify it, I can write the equation like this. Now, let me use this equation of ellipse for in another way if i simplify it i multiply both sides by a2 b2 i get this one and after that if i multiply minus b2 sine 2 phi both sides of this equation i get this so as you see here i have minus b4 y prime 4 and sine 2, which I already derived it here. So now I insert it here. This formula, I square it and insert it here. And after that, I come to this formula. So this, what I, I did it because I wanted to create z, zeta or z prime and solve the equation for z prime. So after solving the equation for z, I get this one is enough to take the square root of both sides. And we already know that from the geometry of ellipsoid, a is equal to b square root of one minus a two. So if I insert a inside here, also I factorize a two from both sides. And consider this equation again. I will come to this form. This is z prime, this distance from here up to here. And you can use this formula for all points at the surface of this ellipse or ellipsoid. So, but what I'm looking for is z, this z, which is this side this part plus this part. So in that case, I can write Z is Z prime plus H sine pi, as I explained. Instead of Z prime, I use this, this formula, it comes here, plus H. And if I factorize sine of phi, I come to this formula which is the well-known formula where for conversion of geodetic coordinates to Z coordinate, Z coordinate in the Cartesian form. And this is why that N, N1 minus E2 appears here in the formula. Now let us solve numerical example together. Consider the reference ellipsoid WGS84 with the parameters A, which is here, and the first eccentricity. And the goal is to compute the Cartesian coordinates of a point with geodetic coordinates of 552 degrees, 10 minutes and 35 seconds. Lambda six degrees 23 minutes and 12 seconds and h is 1563.564 minutes so the formula we already know and we already know it's just 
enough to insert the parameters. These are the formula, the values. These are the formula. A comes here, D2 comes here, and 5 for the point is here. Just insert the numbers and you will get the radius of the prime vertical. And then you have N, just insert N here, plus H, you already have H here. Cosine of phi, you have phi here and lambda. That's all. Just insert the values and you will get the Cartesian coordinates for the point.